What's up guys, Steel Frodo here. We are back again. We are watching another episode of Ruby. This is oh, bump the mic. We are at episode eight. So last episode we found uh, out some stuff about the uh, the antagonists of this series, and then we also discovered, or we also saw the background, not background, the uh, what happened with the fight. So let's get started, because I'm really, really curious to see how the whole, like, because now Yang's got to face the repercussions of, you know, what everybody assumes is her attacking, uh, attacking Mercury for no reason, even though Really, she thought that he was attacking her. So, yeah, we'll see how this works. Also, we discovered that uh, Mercury has robot legs, which is interesting. So that means that all of the uh, all the faking he did of you know his leg getting shot, that was all just for show. So, I'm curious to see what that'll be. And. Actually, they brought up a good point um, last episode. Like, I don't like inadvertently, but they they pointed out the fact that it's like the White Fang hasn't like we saw we saw Adam last episode, but the White Fang hasn't done squat this season. Like nothing. At least I don't think. If I can't, I can't remember anything. So they haven't. Yeah, they really haven't done anything this uh, <laughs> this season. So I guess after last season, where you know a ton of them died in the tunnels uh, after the bombing and the grim attack. I guess that's kind of par for the course is, you know, you don't have a lot of people left to fight for you. Let's see. Oh, geez. She's got robot guards. But he attacked me! Video footage and millions of viewers say otherwise. But Yang would never do that! Yeah! You all seem like good students. And the staff here at Beacon are fully aware mm. that you would never lash out the way you did under normal circumstances. What I believe and hope this to be is nothing more than the result of stress and adrenaline. When you're out on the battlefield, your judgment can become clouded in an instant. Sometimes you see things that seem even after the fight is passed. But I wasn't- That's enough! Whoa. The sad truth is, whether it was an accident or an assault, it doesn't matter. The world saw you attack an innocent student. Ah, uh, innocent. No. And it's my job to inform you that you're disqualified. <sighs> Jeez. That's... Oh, uh, man. You guys believe me, right? Duh! You're hot-headed, but not ruthless. Blake? Mm hmm. I want to believe you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Blake? How can you say something like that? Wow, they never Blake. Lie to us. Yeah, I had someone very dear to me change. It wasn't in an instant. It was gradual. Little choices that began to pile up. He told me oh. not to worry. At first, they were accidents. Then it was self-defense. Before long, even I began to think he was right. <sighs> She's talking about Adam. Literally the person I was just talking about a minute ago. Very familiar. But you're not him. And you've never done anything like this before. So, I want to trust you. I will trust you. But first, I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me that he attacked you. I need you to promise me that you regret having to do what you did. I saw mm. him attack me, so I attacked back. Okay. Thank you. Don't now, my question rest. is... We'll get out of your hair. I'm, I'm wondering why they don't think of a semblance as a thing, if it's a common thing in this world. Okay. <laughs> She's doing the best she can. 
I heard Mercury and his team rushed back to Haven to be with his family. So, until they land, no one can really question him about what happened. If there's anything we can do, please don't hesitate to ask. Hmm. All right, then. If that's the case... Pyrrha? Hmm? You be sure to win one for Beacon, okay? It's what Yang would want. Hmm. I'll do my best. Hmm. She's really. Everybody's kind of falling apart now. Hmm. You heard the lady. No more moping around. Jeez. We gotta get your butt in shape for the big fight. It could be tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> um. Nora's right. All right, Nora. You can't let your concern for yet. Please do nothing to the cook. <laughs> we'll be defending the honor of Beacon Academy. I like it. Of course. I... This blend of herbs and vegetables is filled with nutrients vital to your body's well-being. Oh, that's. Please, there's no need to thank me. <laughs> Algae contains numerous spectacular properties. See for yourself. <laughs> okay. So now we're to the comic relief. Me? You're the one that wasted perfectly good juice. We're supposed to help her and not poison her. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Going down, then there's something wrong. Hey, how about we all get some fresh air? <laughs> and he knows something's up, I bet. Hmm, there, Firecracker. Hey, Crow. <laughs> so, why'd you do it? You know why. All I know is that you attacked a helpless kid. So either you're lying or you're crazy. I'm not lying. Hmm. <laughs> uh, crazy. Got it. Who knows? Maybe I am. And here I thought your dark haired friend was the emo one. <laughs> I saw my mom. I was in a lot of trouble. Took a pretty hard hit. But when I came to, the person attacking me was gone. And I thought I saw... her. Her sword. Like the one in you and Dad's old picture. You're not crazy, Yang. That was your mom, all right. Let me guess. She didn't say a word, did she? How did you know that? Hmm. I don't see my sister very often, but she does try to keep in touch whenever it suits her. Wait, you mean you talked to her? That was real? Yeah, she found me. Had a tip for my most recent assignment and wanted me to give you a message. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was trying to wait for the right time, and this sure ain't it. But I guess you deserve to know. <laughs> Sure. She wanted me to tell you that she saved you once, but you shouldn't expect that kindness again. Raven's got an interesting way of looking at the world that I don't particularly agree with. Mm -hmm. She's dangerous. But you're a tough egg, kiddo. You shouldn't let this tournament thing get you down. You had a slip up. Sometimes bad things just happen. I say it's time you move on. Move on to what? Well, Raven let some info slip before she took off. Okay. I'm gonna track her down. I think I might be able to help. Wow. Okay. I like Crow's character so freaking much. That Pier is dealing with a lot. Hmm.
Never has a leaf meant so much. It's no green goo, but I think it still might do some good. <laughs> um, right. Thank you, Jean. She knows. So does he. You were the first person to ever believe in me. You know that? Even when I told my parents I was going to Beacon, they told me not to worry if I ended up having to move back home. Hmm. How depressing is that? Wow. I'm sure they didn't mean. I guess I'm just trying to say that. Yes. You've always been there for me, even when I didn't deserve it. And I can tell there's something on your mind. So I don't know. How can I help? <laughs> You're already doing it. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, I love it so much. So that's not very what to do. It's not very comfortable to rest your head on armor. <sighs> do you believe in destiny? Mm hmm. Um, that's a heavy question. I don't know. I guess that depends on how you view it. When I think of destiny, I don't think of a predetermined fate you can't escape, but rather some sort of final goal, something you work towards your entire life. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that, sure. That's actually pretty deep, yeah. too. <laughs> what would you do if something came along that you never expected? Something that had the potential to stand between you and your destiny? Like what? Or what if you could suddenly fulfill your destiny in an instant, but at the cost of who you were? Pira, you're not making any sense. None of it makes sense. This isn't how things were supposed to happen. I'm sorry, please. I I'm just trying to understand what's wrong. I've always felt as though I was destined to become a huntress, to protect the world. Hmm. And it's become increasingly clear to me that my feelings were right. But I don't know if I can do it. Of course you can. The Pyrenecos I know would never back down from a challenge. And if you really believe it's your destiny to save the world, you can't let anything stand in your way. Hmm. <laughs> Pyrrha? Stop. Did I say something wrong? Stop! Whoa! Jean! Oh my goodness. Jeez, I forgot that she had the, the what did I say? polarity ability. It's not your fault, dude. It's not your fault. Good lord, her eyes are bright green. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ruby, how are you going? Hi, Velvet. What are you up to? Oh, you know, just working on my photography. Do you want to see? <laughs> sorry to hear about your sister. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's just awful what people are saying about her. Yang's such a nice person. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone thinks so. Most people don't know what it's like on the battlefield. I mean, even experienced fighters can get scared and start seeing things. If it happened to Coco, it can happen to anyone. Coco? Yeah. She swore she saw Yatsu with her in the forest during the fight with Emerald and Mercury, but he never even made it out of the Geyser fields. Stress-induced hallucinations, apparently. <sighs> oh. Yeah. She's gonna piece it together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How'd that picture turn out? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm. 
Hmm. What do we get to see this time? Emeralds here? Oh no. Where's she going? Mercury? It looks like our first contender is Penny Polentina from Atlas. Oh no. What are you doing? And her opponent will be Kira Nico from Vegas. versus metal that could be bad oh shoot she doesn't have oh she doesn't have crescent rose with her use your speed ruby like run away Yay. don't end it's gonna end right here Mmm. Oh, man. <sighs> so Ruby's figured it out. Or she's on to something, I should say. She hasn't figured it out. She's on to something, but... Oh, that's not good. And now we've... Shut up, watch. Now we've got to... Oh, shoot. So that means that... She's not armed. Ruby's not armed. Penny is made of metal, and oh, um, Pyrrha can, f you know, control ma metal. <laughs> and then Mercury's. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Mmm. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, now I really can't wait to see the next episode. Oh, there's my dog. Mmm. Had to end that way. Well, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's uh, at Frodo117, um, and I got a bunch of links down below as well. Um, check this out on Rooster Teeth's page, please. And, uh, yeah, like, go watch it for yourself. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to be there, and have a good one. <laughs>